fallen Texas heroes are being remembered at the state capitol this Memorial Day, and their sacrifice is being honored through art. Fox 7's Casey Claiborne joins us live from the capitol with more tonight. Casey. Rebecca, a Texas Air Force veteran is making it his mission to paint as many portraits of fallen heroes as he can. Today, 28 paintings were put on display. I like to put the stories in the background a little bit. I'm a poor man's Norman Rockwell. Ken Pridgen Sr. served our country from 1953 to 1963. When he left the Air Force, his passion for painting led him to the job billboard artist. Always wanted to paint pretty girls up on the billboards, but I didn't realize they were 50 foot up in the air. So feeling there had to be a better gig out there, Pridgen opened up his own sign business. Fast forward to about six years ago, families of fallen troops started asking Pridgen to paint portraits of their loved ones. I said, man, I don't even know if I'm a portrait artist or not. You know, I'm just, uh, I just did this out of a favor for somebody. But Pridgen kept painting. He started the nonprofit Portrait of a Warrior. Each family gets a smaller print of the final painting to take home. They can actually have Jim to talk to, Cody to talk to, or, or whatever, you know. And, and uh, that, that's, uh, that's a little better, I think, than having a wall with some names on it. Pridgen says Lance Corporal Shane Martin was a painter just like him. Shane's last request was, Mom, Please send my paints and my uh, and, and my easel and everything to uh, Afghanistan. It's a beautiful place. I'd like to paint it. And then two days later, he hit an IED. In a ceremony on the ground floor rotunda of the Capitol on Monday, led by State Rep Gilbert Pena, the families of troops who made the ultimate sacrifice were given mock-ups of what Pridgen's final product will look like. Pridgen is working on painting Petty Officer Second Class Jorge Luis Velasquez from Houston. His sisters, Laura and Myra, were there to see what their brother's portrait will look like. If you knew my brother, he was always about, you know, serving and just um, uh, being there um, for the community, for his friends. It just brings us closer together, give us a little more closure, and uh, we're, we're happy to, uh, that we're invited to these types of events. After the portrait ceremony, Austin Mayor Steve Adler delivered a Memorial Day proclamation address on the first floor rotunda, followed by music from the Pasadena High School Choir. Adler urged everyone to go down a floor to see Pridgen's paintings. The paintings downstairs are an emotional reminder of why it is today we stop. Every day is Memorial Day in, in my gallery. Okay, we, just, uh, we, we, we celebrate every day. For more information on Portrait of a Warrior and how you can donate to the nonprofit, head to our website. It is fox7austin.com.